welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know who i am i am chelsea ohenewa so last week i interviewed one of my classmates from zimbabwe today i have another person from omonaija they were evicted from the afcon thanks to jesus because no be small noise pollution so i have jethro here who is going to introduce himself so who are you yeah, my name is Jetro Opera from Imo State, Nigeria. Um, I'm currently doing my master's. First, um, to correct what she said, Nigeria, we, we are not eliminated. We finished second, okay? Hey, you're going you to explain, Taya. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to explain, 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 because no evidence. So you try your best. Yeah, um, elimination, it's always in the group stages and 16 round, quarter final. We finished second, we were more like um, the best team. It didn't just go our way. Yeah, so if unfortunately, rush, the if best rush, team lost. If we left in the group stage and you went to the finals and didn't mean it's the same thing. It's anyway, not. continue. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first question okay. Why did you come to Canada? Came to Canada to study. Just that? Yep. What were you doing in Nigeria before you came here? um i was doing a couple of things yeah but majorly my business your own business yeah okay so after your master's program are you going back to nigeria or are you going to stay um should i get to answer that mm -hmm. well um i guess i'm uh, yeah I have to go back to Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have to go back to Nigeria. No one has ever Nigeria. said that they are going back to Nigeria, but let's see. After he's done his program, I'm going to interview him again in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> so, you came to Canada in September, right? Yeah. And then, how has Canada treated you? I'm pretty much good. Canadians are nice. They are nice people, I must say. Because when I first got here, I didn't know my left or my right. I didn't know anybody. And then I had um, some Canadians helping me out with one or two things. Most of the stuff, I must say, in my house are actually free. Yeah, I got so many free stuff ranging from my mattress, my um, shoe rack, almost everything in my house. They were given to me by Canadians. Like, these guys literally transport the things themselves and just bring it up not seen people as nice as canadians before they are actually so my next <clears throat> question is did you do your visa process yourself yeah. or yourself yeah oh and then how long did it take you to get your visa? because i know nigerians it takes some time for you to get your visas right yeah, okay so how long did it take you to get your visa um i don't think it's peculiar to nigeria saying it takes Nigerians long to get their visa. Mm. It's unique for everybody, irrespective of your country, I mm. think, because there are so many reasons that could cause delay, mm. which, uh, okay, I'm not an immigration agent, so let me not go there. Mm. But <clears throat> mine took um, a couple of months before I got like my- how many months? Um, let's say uh, a month plus, about six weeks, then and I got my first long rejection. Long. Come oh. on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I got my first rejection. I had to apply for GCMS, wait for a while What's that? for about GCMS. Oh, uh, is that like you want to know why they rejected yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, because happened. when you get your rejection, you just um, get like an overview of mm -hmm. the reason why you were rejected. So mm -hmm. you need to know in depth what actually is the Reason. Yeah, the niche niche down to tell you the reason why you are actually And then just rejected. use that to like correct your next yeah, one. Yeah, to correct the next one. So it took um, a couple of weeks, going close to months. Then I reapplied and then after a month, the next one took just a month. Yeah, I got a request to submit my passport. And was I happy? <laughs> you are not happy to go was... to Canada. Nigerians, Nigerians love Canada. Like, but because basically, after, I was, after I was... Indians, like Nigerians are the most populated in Canada now. I was indifferent. It wasn't a big deal for me because I didn't. You put... were okay in Nigeria. Yeah, I didn't put all my hope in it. And oh. so the reason why Nigerians are so much in Canada, it's not because we like traveling or something like that. It's because we have higher population. So if you check the ratio of Ghanaians in Canada to Ghana's in Canada compared with number of 
um, their population mm. and the ratio of Nigerians with our population. You see that it's basically the same thing. It's just our population that makes it look like oh, anywhere you go, you see Nigeria. Well, it's my own view. Okay. Same with the Indians. Yeah, they are overpopulated. Yeah. So you expect that um, if you have ten Ghanaians and mm. two are out, then you have hundred Indians, twenty should be out. Okay, so, so yeah. how did you get your housing? Did you get your housing before you came or you came here before you got a place, like an accommodation? Yeah, I, I came here. Uh, I was pretty much scared of things I was seeing online. Um, I don't... So when you came, I, you were in a hotel? Yeah, I stayed in an Airbnb mm -hmm. for like four days, yeah. And then how did you get your, your current place? And where? Um... Basically, I was that first four days. Okay, the first day I was just trying to get to know places. Then from the second day, I started looking for a house. I thought it would be super easy, but it wasn't until I saw my church, the Palai Bible Church. So I searched on Facebook and I saw the pastor's number and I called and it was like, okay, he looked for one or two things. Nothing came out then. And then he said there was this brother that. I was looking for a flatmate mm. though he has gotten one now but the flatmate was not yet mm. around here yeah, the flatmate will be coming in a month's time so i uh, arranged with the brother and he was like okay i can stay for that one month mm. pay for the one month and then after then i'll be within that one month i should be able yes, to get a place here yeah, so that was how i packed in on my fourth day staying in the airbnb that was my last day like i literally need to leave mm. that day yeah so where did you get the accommodation? Marketplace or Kijiji or I mean the one after the your main place now, not yeah. your brothers. Okay, basically the guy we were expecting was supposed to come from UK. He's not a student, he's no. a Nigerian coming from UK. Yeah, so I was still looking for a place. He said I should come down. He came, he didn't stay long and he left. So he's not coming back. He's not coming back yet. Okay, so you are still staying there. Yeah, so I had to just retain the plans permanently. Oh, okay. In the West. So, how long did it take you to secure a job and then um, where did you find your job? Like which job site or if someone linked you, how did you get a job? Okay, uh, I would say when I first got here, mm -hmm. I got here like um, two weeks after my class started. So I was basically behind schedule. Mm -hmm. I was trying to meet up. So for that reason, I didn't look, I purposely didn't look for a job in the first week. And then in my second week, I became serious with job, um, job search. I checked on Indeed, I kept applying, applying. I wasn't even getting a response. I was thinking, okay, maybe with time. Then after two weeks, it dawned on me that one more. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like, say this job hard though. So I just went to school, printed my CV, printed about 20 CV. Mm -hmm. I said, the online stuff is no longer working. So I went to an industrial area. Mm -hmm. I knew, okay, this is an industrial area. So basically people don't really live here. It's just um, workplace, workplace, workplace here. Yeah. So I started submitting, 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 submitting. Fortunately for me, I got to a particular place and they were like, ah, can you start today? I say yes, huh? I can start. <laughs> you, you need a glove. I say yes, I have everything. I just bought everything. You had the gloves on you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I started immediately. That was my first job. I used to do it or you did nope. it? Um, this is winter, so the job is more like... Um, Seasonal. Not really seasonal, it comes once in a while though, mm. this season, yeah, but then sometimes it needs you to be outside and it grows oh, okay. much. So I think I'm currently on my third job. So you, you've done, you've got three jobs and you stopped four two. months, yeah. And then, so how long, you came in September, so when yeah. did you get a job? Like in I which, started, in I think I started my first job 2nd of October. That's not too bad. Yeah. So you are paying your own tuition, right? Yeah. Or you you have family sponsoring it? I have a family. They are, <laughs> yeah, from the onset they tried, mm. they supported, but I was like, this money is too much. The exchange rate is mm -hmm. too much. This my family need to be in cool too where they are. They don't have to panic so much. So yeah. I always make them feel like ah, tuition is not a problem. People shouldn't bother, right? Yeah. So so far I've been able to foot my tuition and everything by myself. 
yeah they well, were the same job. from the onset yeah okay. with the same job but then i had to cut down many things mm -hmm. um i'm not living my best life for now I was confused, <laughs> yeah. i'm not living my best life i tend to manage things mm -hmm. i don't yeah the kind of life i live in nigeria uh for now i've not been able to mm -hmm. just because i want to pay my tuition myself and other bills mm -hmm. so what advice do you have for someone that is planning or have their Canadian dream or American dream and wants to come and then probably they've been refused and then they've given up? Would you tell them to keep it up or stop and then let's say if I have a very good paying job in Nigeria or in Ghana, would you recommend me coming to Canada? Um first i think you asked multiple questions at once <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, my advice to those who have been applying most times why you get why i feel you get multiple rejection is being in a rush right i i was in that shoe too i wanted to do it fast after my first rejection but after your first rejection and you try to address the reason you were rejected most times within the time frame that you reapply definitely it's unbelievable to say something has changed yeah. within that time yeah. you presented a proof of five thousand and you presented <clears throat> excuse me you presented all your earning all your income how much you earn and all of a sudden after two weeks you are bringing a proof of twenty five thousand yeah. right so nothing really has changed so some of the times you just need to be um to think critically put yourself in the shoes of the people handling your file yeah if you were the one will you think something has really changed will you think this person because all canada wants to know is that you are saying the truth and you're not lying and you meet up with their criteria so you just try to put things in place so for um asking about the second question if you are having a good pay right okay i would say depending on your reason of wanting to come to canada right i came for i'm here for studies so if you're having a good pay and you want to come for studies, you can still come for studies after your studies, you go back. But if you're having a good pay and you're planning to remain here permanently, what's your motivation? What's your reason? If your reason is the pay, then I think your good pay back in your country is better. Yeah. If your reason is you want to change environment, yeah, so or you just want to get into our citizenship, something like that, you could still decide to come. But then... <clears throat> There are people earning way high in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. That mm -hmm. what we earn here. And then, if you can earn half, if your reason for coming here is because of money or anything, if you can earn up to seventy percent of what people earn here, then I'll suggest you just remain in your country because by the time you take off tax bills and other things, mm -hmm. you end up saving something not so much, right? Yeah. But then, if you are a kind of and I, I used to tell my friends, if you are business inclined, mm -hmm. like um, all these very top businessmen mm -hmm. back in Nigeria, in Ghana, then uh, there might be little or no opportunities here. Mm -hmm. But if you are like an 8 to 5 kind of job person, yeah, you, there's um, the kind of things you see more here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, working 8 to 5 and then making your decent pay and so i think basically this place just try to strike balance yeah to make sure everybody in a decent amount you are not into high not into low yeah so but if you're doing good in your country you can come to canada for vacation canada is a very sweet country yeah <laughs> okay so we'll end the interview here and then do you have any advice for anyone watching you do you have any last words um i'll say be good be you don't give up on your dream whatever is a dream if your dream is coming to canada fine you can still achieve it even if you don't get it now i know some people that have tried once twice even years some of them will have to go to a different country before coming here don't give up on your dreams more importantly when applying for canada don't lie right because you might just be complicating the issue and make things worse for you yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching my video. If you like videos like this, let me know and I'll come your way same time next week with another video. Bye.
Thank you. Bye. <laughs>